Welcome back. We are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing configuring Windows 10, in preparation for exam 70-698. So this video, we are starting our Lab 5 exercises. Our Lab 5 is implementing Windows in an enterprise environment. So this first video is going to go over exercise 5.1, which is installing the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. All right, so 5.1 is installing the Windows and Assessment Deployment Kit. Now, I want to go over the mindset on this particular exercise. With larger companies, adopting a new desktop operating system is inherently much more difficult due to the wider application and compatibility, the need for more user training, and greater complexity of deployment. To help with application compatibility and Windows deployment, Microsoft developed the, Microsoft, the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, or ADK, for Windows 10. So we're actually going to log on to the LAN Server 2 as the Datum Administrator and begin from there. So I'll go ahead and minimize this. And I need to log off my CL1. And you'll see I have my domain controller is still running. So now we want to go into server 2. Oh, before we do that, though, let me close out of this. I cannot stress enough the importance of regular housekeeping. After every exercise or after every lab, you want to go into each of these machines, if, at least if you use them, and you want to... This should have shut off by now. CL1. Okay, now it's shut off. You want to go in here and right click and create a checkpoint. That's kind of a backup. So in case we mess up somewhere, we can always go back to that checkpoint and restart instead of having to go all the way back to the beginning during the setup process. And we haven't made any changes yet on DC1, but I am going to make another checkpoint. Okay, now let's get started on server 2 and turn on the machine. And again, we want to log in as other user and sign in as a datum slash administrator and then use our password. And we want to go into File Explorer, click on Network, turn on Network Discovery, okay, let's see if we can find it, so we want to go into LON-DC1, Enter. And there's our domain controller, and we want to click on Assessment and Deployment. I'm sorry, Software. And ADK Setup. And then Run.
On the specify location page, we're going to go ahead and take the default and click on next. On the Windows Kit's privacy, we're going to choose no. And next, we're going to accept the terms. We want to select all of these. And then choose install. Now what I'm afraid of is that this needs to be able to connect, yeah, setup cannot locate toolkit documentation, download content from the internet, check your internet connectivity. So we have to connect but we can get some of it from here. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll do browse. And then choose retry. Okay. Uh, so in order to do this, we're going to have to set this up on our second on our external switch so we can access the internet. So I'm going to cancel. Yes. Close. Close. I'm going to shut this down. Okay, now I'm going to go into my server 2, and the one I have I set up right now is a private network 1. So I want to add new hardware, network adapter, and add, and I want to do my external switch, and then OK. Now I do want to just double check my virtual switch manager, my external switch. It could be connected to my wireless or my wired. I'm currently wired. So I'm going to go ahead and do OK. And now log back on to server 2. And again, we're going to log in as other user, a datum, and then administrator, and password. to our file explorer, network, win, dash gc1, enter, software, ADK setup, yes, and run, Next, accept, and then install. Now it should work, and you'll notice I now have connectivity. 
So I'm going to pause the video while we wait to work because this could take between 20 and 30 minutes. Okay, so we have finished installing the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. Be when you take your next screenshot. Uh, if you are continuing on to exercise 5.2, you want to leave server 2 logged in for the next exercise, which is creating a provision package with the Windows Imaging and configuring, Configuration Designer tool.